arguing that that he's been given a ton of fuel like they just poured rocket fuel in his engine i think that's absolutely true i mean if you just look at the fundraising he's done off the back of this already legally like what did they find oh and is he actually is he actually in trouble because i think the goal was to try to knock him out of the 2024 elections Podcast, podcast host Joe Rogan speculating on the real motive behind the raid on Donald Trump's home. And it all boils down to politics. It comes as the judge who approved the raid, a Trump critic, will hear arguments tomorrow on whether to unseal the affidavit that led to the search. Fox and Friends Enterprise reporter Lawrence Jones joins us now. Good morning, Lawrence. Hey, good morning. My good friend. morning. So we'll get to the Joe Rogan thing in just a second. But what do you think is going to happen? Will he unseal the affidavits? Um, judges are less likely to do this. I don't see it happening, but I do feel like the Justice Department is going to have to do some type of explaining here. You know, I've never seen the Trump supporters so upset, um, and they feel like this is a flashback, Ainsley. Okay, so what was happening in the 2016 election? Like, they, they knew the media was going after them, but now because of the revelations that eventually came out, you had Lisa Page and Strzok, and you had Andrew McCabe and the Oars, uh, text messages back and forth. We know about Sussman working with the FBI, who was also buying the opposition research, then turn it over to, uh, to the FBI. So you, you, you already have coordination between the DOJ and FBI to go after Donald Trump. The, Many people say, look, those were just bad actors. But, but now the burden of proof is on them because we have another election coming up. It, it's pretty much clear that Donald Trump wants to run again. It's probably going to run again. And you see those same type of tactics. Then you have them saying, OK, we're just going to return some of his goods back, that the scope was too broad. I mean, it, it, it just smells bad. Um, and, and you would think them going now after a former president, they, they would have all their ducks in a row, but now it just looks like more shady business, Ainsley. Yeah, he's, uh, this judge the, will decide if the warrant's going to be unsealed. I believe it's tomorrow. It is tomorrow. I'm looking here on the paper. Uh, but this is the same judge that signed the warrant that gave money to Barack Obama and recused himself in the Hillary Clinton and, and Donald Trump case back in June. So uh, no one's holding their breath. And in, you're right. In most cases, they don't release the affidavit until after there's a charge. Uh, what do you think about Joe Rogan, what he said? He's speculating that the reason for this raid is all because of politics. They want to knock him out of the election. Listen, I, I think it's worthy to listen to Joe Rogan because although he is a progressive, he is one that is an independent thinker. And so I, I don't know how you look at this, you know, and, and, and not see politics at play right here. I mean, the fact that they even sat on the warrant for so, so long before acting on it, the fact that they would uh, uh, say that somehow Donald Trump would compromise the United States of America, th there seems, and I said this on my show last Saturday, that there's two tiers of justice. Do, do we remember that Hillary Clinton, the former Secretary of State, had an entire server of classified information on a private server and there was nothing done to her about it? I mean, she doesn't have the ability to dis declassify information. A former president, a president at a time, he had that ability to do that and there were, n there were no raids. She actually broke servers. She broke um, uh, phones. I mean, it, it, just, it just seems like, it appears to average day folks, that there's two lines of justice, and, and it seems like they're going after Donald Trump for political reasons. Whether you like the guy or not is irrelevant. That's what's causing the uproar in our country. It's just the double standard. They do for one for one party and something totally different for another party. At least that's how a lot of people feel. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Lawrence. Lawrence has a great show. It's called Cross Country. It's every Saturday night at 10 p.m. He's crossing the country during the week <laughs> doing all these stories for all of us, and then he does his own show on Saturdays. We're so proud of you, Lawrence. Thank you, Thank Angela. You for Off to Florida. On. See y'all. Uh, see? Packing your bags <laughs> again. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.